Tonight. We're well, back. I'm back. And this time, we're still on the best dressed thing, but this time it's the fellas. And the nominations for the TV Week Best Dressed Male Performers of 1971, and they are Ronnie Burns, <laughs> a friend of yours, Johnny Farnham, <laughs> Russell Morris, <laughs> Jeff Phillips. Ross D. Wiley. <laughs> and it's that moment again. I'm a savage. Well, of course, I mean, it's an absolute fix, isn't it, really? <laughs> I mean, he's always so scruffy. Johnny Farmer. <laughs> I what do mean, you mean, a fix? Well, I mean, you're so I mean, look at him tonight. I mean, he looks like an undertaker's sofa, doesn't he, really? <laughs> you see, all right. It's all right, you see, it's all right now. Now he's got his party frock on. He looks rather quite nice. <laughs> but when he comes into the next dressing room at, m to mine at night, all he wears is uh, some rather dirty old jeans and a rather nasty woolly. <laughs> and long-sleeved vests. <laughs> We're about to stand the arms. You're going to get this Mr. Johnny Farnham, it's my great pleasure to present to you the best dressed performer <laughs> male of the year. Thank you, Johnny. Hey, many congratulations, Johnny. Actually, curious enough, every night I crown him in the show with a tray, like... Oh, God! Oh. And it doesn't really hurt much, actually. Oh! Thank you! Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Well, we have uh, coming up now. I know there's lots of musicians all around Australia patiently waiting to uh, hear these awards because they take a lot of interest in that. We have the best lead guitarist, organist, drummer and bass guitarist coming up and I know that whoever wins each section will be uh, very proud to receive it 
especially from our guest here because he's not only such a great artist but a great musician as well. Elton John. <laughs> Elton, evidently yeah. you uh, spent about three years in obscurity playing organ in a band. Uh, four years in obscurity playing in a band, actually, yeah. So you know what it's like, the hard work? I do indeed, oh. yes. I was very bad at it, actually. Were you? Mm. And then you changed to piano and... Changed to piano and it all happened. Look what happened. Well, we've got the Best Organist nominations coming up. We've got Brian Cadd. <laughs> Jenny Johnson. Johnny Christie. And Warren Morgan. The Black Widow? Yeah. <laughs> the best looking merry widow I've ever seen. I really love this, it's really exciting. The best organist is Miss Jenny Johnson. Woo! There you go. Yeah. something on behalf of the Women's Liberation? Oh, well, I'd like to thank TV Week, first of all, and uh, for all the people that voted for me. It's wonderful. Thank you. Good night, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, of course, is the organist in the new dream. That's great to see. I was never that pretty, you know, when I was an organist. Uh, is that why you weren't... <laughs> four years. Four years. Oh. Never get me hair to go. Elton, we've got coming up now the uh, Best Drummer nominations. Mm -hmm. You haven't got a bad drummer with Nigel Olsen touring with you? Uh, no, he's pretty good. He's got a pretty good drum kit. He's not bad. Uh -huh. Here's the nominations. Rick Brewer. <laughs> Colin Burgess. You want to read a couple out? Yeah. Chris Easterby. And Gary Young. Fine. Tony comes on out behind the... Best drama. Yeah. Well, it's certainly Daddy Cool's night. Gary Young from Daddy Cool. A lot of people are probably wondering why I'm here all the time. <laughs> Actually, I'm lucky enough to be their producer. And I think Gary would say, gee, man, it's a groove, baby. That's good. Because that's the way he talks, and he's really a lovable guy. And uh, we'll call him in the States tonight and tell him he's won it. I think, I think he'll pull out. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Got to be the tiredest fellow in the audience coming up all the time. Listen, Elton, before we uh, get on to the uh, best bass guitarist and lead guitarist, why don't we meet the queen of pop and also the best dressed lady in pop music, Miss Alison Derwin.
What do you think of that? Our queen of pop, Alison Durbin. Not bad at all. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, listen, we'd better get <laughs> back to business right. and uh, find out now the nominations for the best bass guitarist. Do you want to read them out? Al? Yeah, I'll read them out. Um, you be the comp here and I'll. All right. Uh, the nominations are B. Bertels. Uh, Wayne Duncan. Barry Sullivan. And uh, Glenn Wheatley. Let's find out who the winner is. Again? Best bass guitarist is B. Bertels. I'd like to thank TV Week and everyone who else voted for me. Thank you. Well, it's certainly spun up tonight, isn't it? It certainly is. We've got now the best lead guitarist. Why don't you have a lead guitar in the group? Well, I see they're so loud, they usually sort of dominate me. So you rather yeah. leave them out. It's very hard being a pianist because, you know, you have to... If you've got any more instruments in the group, you, you've had it, you know? Why so, not? Who needs yeah, a lead guitarist? But we've got some good ones here. Want to read them out? Uh, yeah. Doug Ford. <laughs> Ross Hannaford. <laughs> Bert Wheaton? No. Phil Manning. And Rick Springfield. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, there you go. I'm, I'm knocked out. Rick Springfield. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I really, I can't think of all the people that think I'm just knocked out. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Talk about Sparmac Records now. I think I've taken up about every second award. Oh, really Elton, it's been a knockout having thank you here. Thank you very much. Really must thank you. Very thank enjoyable. you enough. We've got a fellow now that we'd like you to listen to that's leaving actually for London uh, this weekend. And I hope that... Uh, I wish I was going with him. Really? No, well, I've been away for eight Missing weeks. the sunny yeah. weather. There you go. Yeah. Well, I hope you see him at the top. Ted Mulry. It's talked about It's knowing looks It's sung in songs Read in books It's everywhere Around the world It happens every day It's wondering why she is late for late night drinks in street cafes. It's what to do and where to go when she is not around. Yeah. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Mr. Liberace. Liberace, or may I call you Lee? You surely may call me Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, it's so excuse wonderful. me for wearing the same old suit. <laughs> we know that you've done two performances this evening. And they were very exciting. May I say I'm thrilled to be back in Australia, and especially here in Melbourne, the audiences at the Festival Hall have been really fantastic. I, I'm real excited still, you know. Really. <laughs> but I must say, you've done two performances this evening and you still look absolutely... I had so much fun, I'm ashamed to take the money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really I think uh, everybody here is well, a mad fan of yours, but I think that the biggest fan in the whole wide world must be my mother. Oh, really? I really think so. And I thought, I was in town today and I bought a copy of your new LP. Oh, it's Called The nice. Impossible Dream, which I, it's a beautiful LP. Well, you know I what thought, I'm going to do? I'm going to autograph it for your mum. Would you mind? say that. I just and I'm so going to say, have... you have a pen? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to say, to your mum that she has the most talented son in the world. How about that? <laughs> oh, that's marvelous. I'll even draw the piano so she'll know who I am. <laughs> well, I, I guess you know that we're here to crown the king of pop. Well, I, I'm so excited about that, Johnny. I have... No, really, I am. I, you know... I haven't felt as excited about anything so royal <laughs> since I did the command performance for Queen Elizabeth. Thank you very much. I've been, incidentally, Johnny, I've been watching the show and I've enjoyed all the performers who have been on and that little boy, that Jamie, he's fantastic. He really, I'd like to take him back to the stage. <laughs> Johnny Ray would be so jealous. <laughs> I, I you think, forgot what you're going to say. No. I think we'd better announce the nominations for the King of Pop Award for this. Oh, let's, because I know everyone is waiting with bated breath. Right. Yeah. First of okay. all, we have Ronnie Burns, right. Johnny Farnham, Johnny Farnham, Russell Morris, Jeff Phillips, and Ross B. White. How come mine is stuck together so tight? All the others, they just went bloop. And then, uh, there goes the skin. I won't be able to. I can't. <laughs> Johnny Farnham. I want it. I want it. <laughs> How much you want for it? 
Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. Would you would you do the honor of crowning the 1971 TV Week King? I got an outfit that'll just match. It. <laughs> so you hold it. Congratulations. You, you, you really deserve it. I, I think you're marvelous. Just great. I hope it fits. There you are. I think, I think seeing as, I think seeing as John has won it for the last, this is the third year, isn't it, John? I think rather than have John make a speech because he says the same thing every year. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl. <laughs> no, but I mean it, John. I really know. Do it. What do you say we have the 1971 King of Pop sing a song? How about you? Yeah. Would you? Would you? Which one? These raindrops be falling on that, would you? Yes, you would. Okay. I'll have to get an outfit to go with this crown now. I've got it. I'll love it. You'll have it too. <laughs> um, Music, my Yeah. Uh, thank you. Raindrops are falling on my head. I'm just like a guy whose feet are too big for his bed. Nothing seems to fit. Those raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. So I just did need some talking to the sun. Everybody's busy meeting Mr. Liberace. Well, Jeff? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well we, John? We have four compares this evening, and I guess that's just about it. Uh, before I go, I'd like to say a very big congratulations from all of us here to all our winners tonight. Hey, come on, everybody. Yeah. So, just a little reminder that as from tomorrow morning, wherever you are, you can buy your copy of TV Week, which has all the results of tonight's pop poll in it. The and ink is still wet, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's on sale with all the results and all the way that you voted as well. So that's tomorrow morning. We'd like to say, gee, a very special thank you to our very special guests that were with us tonight. Mr. Liberace, Dame Abby
And, and we would like to say a very special thank you too to a marvellous orchestra, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Johnny Walker. Yeah. And, well, if I can remember, uh, Miss World was lovely to have on the show too. Yeah. Miss Jennifer Hustle. Johnny O'Keefe. And our thanks to Mark Winter and Derek Nimbo, who is the mayor. And Mac, there's no way in the world we're all going to fit up here, John. I mean, we're going we're to stop this right now. Um, Damon and Eagle, thank you very much. And Elton John for yeah. being here. Just very quickly say thank you and same time next year we hope to bring you once again the King of Pop Awards and to see us off tonight, the two kings, well actually the king and the queen of pop for this year, Alison Derman and Johnny Farnham to say good night. Good night everyone. Like swinging 